Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another stale movie review. So sorry that this didn't get uploaded on Monday. I use the same excuse over and over again. School and work, school and work, school and work. Soon I will be done with school and soon I will be done with Panera so don't you worry. Um, I won't be able to use that as an excuse anymore. Um, so today we're going to be talking about Late Night Double Feature, which is one of the films I got in a horror pack. Um, again, what, couldn't tell you which one, um, <laughs> um, but I definitely got it in a horror pack. Um, and it's an anthology, kind of, a little bit. Um, so basically the premise is um, there is a like a local cable television show that, like horror show that shows horror movies late at night, late night double feature. Um, it's called Dr. Nasty's Cavalcade of Horror. And so one of the stories centers around um, one of the hosts of the show, Nurse Nasty, um, who is frustrated with her job uh, her womanizing director and the host, Dr. Nasty. So that's kind of the first story. And then kind of, you know, dropped in, in between bits of Samantha's story, we have two kind of short films, um, which are the features that are being shown on the show in the movie. Um, right, so the shorts within the show that they're showing like as the features on the show are kind of like, you know, not well shot kind of but i'm thinking that it's on purpose it felt like it was probably on purpose because it's like one of those it's like a late night horror show so they're not necessarily showing new release like feature films from big name studios and that sort of thing so i think it was done on purpose so to that extent i i was fine with it i liked it because it fit um <laughs> And it kind of adds to like the tone of the film. This is like a shitty, unwatched, late night horror show. But I found, which is kind of just annoying to me personally, but it was, they used a little bit of it in the two shorts and in kind of like the wraparound, which is like the main story. That like choppy, distorted editing, which is usually used when somebody's having like a mental break or something and it like, does like jump cuts to all these different angles and them looking at themselves in the mirror and they're going nuts. I fucking hate that and they use that to some effect a little bit in each short. Can you guys hear the rain? And I don't like it. Um, and they use it a fair amount and I'm not a fan. Um, as far as the story and the acting goes, um, like I said in the two shorts, I think they were meant to kind of look like bad-ish indie films which they did so the acting is not great but it felt like it wasn't just like bad acting it felt like it was on purpose bad <laughs> so I to that extent I liked it I liked the two shorts they were interesting um and I think that was the point for them to be kind of not good uh, <laughs> um as far as the main story goes with Sam slash Nurse Nasty um I feel like they kind of set it up and then they have like a few fake commercials and trailers in between the shorts. Um, there's a little bit of Sam and her story in between the two shorts and then they show the second one and then the remainder of the movie is just like completely her story. I felt like <clears throat> the like the setup before the first short and then in between the two shorts were a little bit too short. Um, <laughs> And then, you know, so by the, the end of it, we've watched these two kind of short films, which were quite long, actually. Um, I was surprised by how long it took to get through the two feature films, um, which aren't actually feature films, obviously, they're short. Um, <laughs> uh, hopefully I'm making sense. Um, but I felt like by the time I got to the end of them, by the end of it, um, and it's her story, it just like lost its punch for me. Like it lost, it was a whole, it was a whole lot of her, crying and monologuing about how she's not appreciated by Dr. Nasty and by her partner slash boyfriend, Sean or whatever. And it's a whole lot of that <laughs> and not a lot, a whole lot of her like going crazy and stuff, which 
was the more interesting which was the more interesting part but I just felt like by the time we got there I was tired of it <laughs> and I was distracted and I was looking at my phone and I wasn't interested any longer um, it just took too long to get there it took too long I'm gonna go ahead and recommend that you shouldn't watch it the shorts like the the I keep saying the shorts but like the two feature films like within the show um, were interesting enough but that was about it the the main story wasn't that interesting and by the time we got to it at the end it was just I was tired of watching it I don't want to watch it anymore um, <laughs> so I'm gonna give this one nasty nurse out of five to me it felt like a waste of time and I wasn't happy with that um, the only rating it has uh, <clears throat> was on IMDb. Um, I usually provide IMDb Rotten Tomatoes and Roger Ebert scores. Um, IMDb's got a 4.5 out of 10, which I think is kind of generous. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so if you've seen Late Night Double Feature, let me know in the comments. <laughs> let me know in the comments section what you thought about it. Um, and as always, feel free to leave me suggestions for other movie reviews slash just general video type suggestions like for weird Wednesday videos or something I don't know I'm just kind of, I don't know what I'm saying anymore um right comment um, <laughs> um I do hope you enjoyed this video um if you're new here be sure to subscribe and become a creepy peep today and until next time stay strange bye so technically speaking um the two features that are shown like on the horror show within the movie are Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that at all, but there was just like a, a bucket or like a empty flower pot that just went like flying across my yard. It is really windy here right now. Like it's like it's getting ready to storm really bad, which I'm excited about because it's my day off and I get to, as soon as I'm done filming <laughs> and editing, I'm going to be, you know, watching horror movies while it's raining and storming. It's going to be great. Um, <laughs> that's going to be my evening. Um, but I heard something and I just looked out my window and it just went like flying across the yard. But I'm going to look really quick. <laughs> I love storms. Oh, that was a wheelbarrow. It's like a little tiny wheelbarrow. You guys probably can't hear me at all because I'm away from the camera, but part of it was like a wheelbarrow going flying. I love stormy weather. Maybe I'll just move to Portland or something. <laughs> I feel like that's more me anyway, right? It's like vegan town USA and it's rainy all the time. I fucking love it. Why do I want to move to California? I don't want to move to California. I want to move to like Portland or Seattle or somewhere where it's fucking rainy and cloudy like this all the time. Man. <laughs>